Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just recorded myself of me ending a video that I posted a few days ago. I'm starting another video, so yes, I am in the same outfit. This is gonna be a short little video, nothing crazy long, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys like, you know, just a little routine of what I do prepping for a trip. I am going on a two day trip tomorrow at the butt crack of dawn. It is gonna be so early. I need to text my friend because me and Sydney are actually flying it together. I am so excited. <gasps> Yay, Sydney, if you're watching this, I'm so excited we're flying together. It's gonna be so much fun. I just sent her a text and I was like, pack your sneakers, this is what we're doing. I'm getting us face mask, we're gonna go to dinner, we're gonna watch Christmas movies in bed, and I just went and bought Christmas M&Ms to put on top of popcorn. So it's gonna be a fun trip. And I am vlogging it, so get excited. I'm gonna show you guys basically what I do to get prepared for my my overnight trips, which this one's great. I love a two day trip. There's just something different about a two day trip than a three day trip. Three days, you're gone way too long. Two days, it's like you wake up and you're like, okay, I'm bummed that I'm having to leave home, but I will literally be back tomorrow. And it's not bad. So these are, if I'm gonna go overnight, two days are my favorite type of trip. Like I would rather do two day, two two days a week than a three day, I think. Unless it was like a long 30 hour layover somewhere really cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is charge my work phone. This drawer is a hot mess, so don't look at it. I'll also go ahead and get my ID out. Actually, I'll go ahead and get everything out. So I like to lay everything out. Uh, there are certain things that I have to have on my trip. Like it's a must, it's not okay if you don't have them. And I like to go ahead and have them out. So always have your wings, super important. You always wanna be on time. Being early is being on time, you guys. And this little watch, which she's turning ugly colors and I need a new one, but I got this from Target. And I swear, I always get a compliment on every flight about how cute it is and asking where I got it. And I think it was like $10 from Target. I always normally pack a pen especially if you're flying A, because you may have meals or something that you need to write with, but I already have one in my bag, so I'm not gonna pack that one. I won't need this guy because I already know what I'm wearing and it doesn't require that. Okay, I think that is everything. So for sure, oh, and then my ID is here. This is our cute little pile of things that we need and we cannot forget. Also, my passport, that is a must. I always have to have that on me in case we ever were to get rerouted and we have to have our passport. So I need to go ahead and get that as well. She is dead as a doornail. So we've got that charging, which is very important. That always needs to be at 100%. Now I need to go on a hunt for my passport, which I think I know where it is. Go ahead and get that guy out. Yes, passport. These are the earrings that I wear basically every trip just because they're easy and I like to, I'm an, I'm an earring gal. This is my toiletry bag. I've already brought it in the bedroom so I can start packing it. My large suitcase is in the laundry room which I'll get her out. Quick little walk with Maddie before we start cooking dinner and finish packing. She ran to the grocery store to get a few little knickknacks for me for the trip tomorrow. And I just, when I got home, there was an Amazon package on her front porch. And I was like, what did I order? <laughs> this beautiful ornament was in the box. It says, our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. There was no gift message, no note. But I feel like it was probably one of our moms that sent it to us. I'll find out soon enough. But I thought that was so sweet. That was so precious. I love sentimental ornaments. That's basically the only thing that's on our tree. I think what I want to do one day, or eventually, one year, I would love to get like a fun, skinny, tall tree and put all of our fun travel ornaments and like sentimental ornaments like this on that one. And then for like the main living room, 
switch it up with different themes, like have, you know, how you can like buy ornaments in a bulk, but I'd prefer to have two trees. <laughs> So I could do both. It's so fun decorating. I'm attempting to make a TikTok dinner that I found for tonight that looks so easy. I've got to look it up. It's called Baked Feta Spaghetti Squash and it looks so easy. I'm going to start by preheating our oven 400. Okay, while that's preheating, we're going to take our spaghetti squash and cut it in half. This is honestly so t intimidating, you guys. I hate cutting these things, they scare me. to google it because I used to make this all the time and I was like this is I mean I knew it was hard but this seemed hard hard and I forgot so you need to microwave it to get it tender to be able to cut it so we're gonna where you like poke holes in it and then put it in the microwave for like five to six minutes so that's what we're doing that was a workout you guys <laughs> I ended up having to get DB to cut it in half for me. I forgot how tough it is to like get all the the middle part, like the gross slimy part out and cut it in half. And <laughs> this is everything I had to get out. And I was like, dang, I used to make this all the time. And I just like, I blacked out all of the bad stuff because I personally love making spaghetti, spaghetti squash. So we're gonna go ahead and top these guys with some olive oil. Yum. All right. And then we're gonna do next, just a little bit of salt everywhere. And everything I'm putting in here, I'm going exactly by the recipe, but she called for like blocks of feta, but DB couldn't find the block feta at the store, so we just went with crumbled. But it should come out the same. So we're gonna do the feta cheese and then add little tomatoes and garlic, and then we'll put it in the oven for like an hour, and then it should come out really creamy like pasta. LOL. <laughs> that was a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> trying this again. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna set a timer on my phone for about an hour. We'll just leave it in there on 400. Mmm. Okay, we just took it out of the oven and it smells phenomenal so the next thing we're supposed to do is stir it all up and then i'm honestly not sure what we're supposed to do next <laughs> so stand by while we stir it up So hard for me to put away my laundry all these clothes are clean and I just can't put them away I don't know I put a lot away yesterday and you'd be surprised it doesn't look like I even put a dent in it so these are clean but I'm gonna get some PJs I don't have a top for these 
but these are festive with snowflakes on them and we want to be festive while we're away from home. So we're going to take the snowflake PJ pants and then I think you guys have seen this PJ top of mine. It has the star. I know someone complimented it. Thank you. It's always really cozy. So maybe I'll just bring both of these together. We're going to start a pile. This is going to be my pile of things that I'm taking and then I'll fold them and put them away. Oh, okay. We're definitely bringing Christmas fuzzy socks. These are a must. Ooh, since we're going to go to the gym and go on a hot girl walk, I'll bring my hunter green set from Target that is giving Christmas vibes as well. <laughs> This is going to be a Christmas pack with me for a two-day trip. This is a horrible video to show you how I prepare because I'm not doing a very good job. Like, I'm not prepared at all. I put in, I've always got ramen noodles just in case. I brought my popcorn and some M&Ms. We're going to do Christmas M&Ms for the holiday and being festive. I got some bagels, some wheat thins, and then two avocados. Basically, like, snacky items. And then I know that Sid and I are going to get dinner tomorrow night, like, once we get to the hotel. But we did have leftovers, so I'm going to bring some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. I'm bringing some ginger shots because I haven't been feeling my best. I've kind of had like a little scratchy throat. So we're gonna bring both of those and then I'll probably bring some cheese and pepperoni because I like to eat those with my wheat thins. And that's really it. It's so late, but we've got our suitcase packed by the door, ready to go. So it's gonna pick me up in the morning. I'm gonna leave my lunch box in here. And I've got my uniform hung up with my wings on it, ready to go. And now it's time to get in bed. Say goodnight to the vlog. She is stressed. I am stressed, I'm so stressed. I'm tired of hearing that word. <laughs> I picked this up because Sydney was on the trip, but now I'm regretting it. She was like, I thought we signed in at 8 a.m., but we signed in at 6 a.m. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I know it was short, but it was just kind of a fun, It'll show you how to get ready or how I get ready for a two-day trip and how stressed and chaotic I am. Hey, Baba. Sweet dreams. I love you.